Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the senior edition of NHS Update. Today, on, today is an S7 day, and for lunch we have barbecue chicken. The word of the day is contentious, which means quarrelsome. On today's show, we have a segment from Senior Video. Now here are your anchors, Meg Norton and Kelly Erker. Welcome to the show. I'm Meg Norton. And I'm Kelly Erker. A reminder that there will be a meeting for those interested being a host family in the fall for a student from Spain on Tuesday, May 26 at 6.30 in the library. There will be a drama club meeting today in room 127 at 2.30 and elections for next year's officers will be held. Plans for the drama club award ceremony will be made as well. Also, tomorrow from 7 to 8.30 there will be two performances by the Drama One class. Now we have Erin Crowley in the studio with some seniors to talk about their plans after graduation. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm here with some seniors. I'm here with Leah Kayer, Belle Devingo, and Sabrina Cabelli. So where are you guys going next year, and what are you studying? Um, I'm going to Assumption College, and I'm studying Human Services and Rehabilitation Studies. I'm going to Northeastern, and I'm studying Political Science. I'm going to Mass College Pharmacy, and I'm studying Pharmacy. All right, good luck to you guys. And if you could give any advice to underclassmen, what would it be? Um, so I definitely say um, don't give up with your grades. Like it really sucks when you realize like you don't have the grades to get into the schools you want to go to, and you just always try and just like don't get senioritis when you're a freshman. <laughs> um, I would say just take advantage of all the time you have here because it really does go by pretty fast. Yeah, I would definitely just say keep going to sporting events, go to drama events, um, never miss anything. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Now back to the desk. Thanks guys. Attention juniors. If you're interested in the zoology class next year, see Ms. Cedroni for her application. Also, the turtles from this year are being returned to the Department of Fishery and Wildlife during the cookout on May 29th. See Ms. Cedroni with any questions. Sad students are reminded that the RSVP for fail day are due today to Ms. Truler or Ms. Roberts. Also, if any sophomores or juniors wish to be considered as a SAD officer, please inform an advisor. An important reminder to all seniors, the deadline to submit ideas for the class will is tomorrow. Go to nordyearbooklounge.com and click on senior section to submit. Now we catch up with some seniors about where they will be in 10 years. In 10 years, I will be married to Cody Carson. It's my bae. And, uh, I'm kind of relying on that, so uh, I don't know what else, yeah. In 10 years, who do I look at you? In 10 years, I'll be living in California, going to the beach every day, hopefully with a good job, <laughs> and seeing my friends from high school, maybe. <laughs> in 10 years, I will be famous. In 10 years, I will be... In 10 years, I will hopefully be graduated from college, married, and have a couple kids. In 10 years, I hope to be graduated from college, a physical therapist, and married. Oh, and a good job. <laughs> In 10 years, I'll be starting my very successful career on the Boston Celtics. Okay. In 10 years, I'll be graduated from college. Julia. I'll still be in college and or jail. And I'll probably have a job. Um, in 10 years, we'll still be hanging out with Ms. Morrison. And guidance. <laughs> and we'll be in Ms. Fairfoot's office, chilling on our beanbag and being savages and stealing candy from everyone. In 10 years, I will be hopefully still living and married and famous and rich. In 10 years, I'll be teaching music to kids my age. This recording. In 10 years, <laughs> I'm going to marry Rich and he's going to buy me everything I want. In 10 years, I'm going to own 10 launches. <laughs> Where will you be in 10 years? Um, in 10 years, I'll be living in Florida. Hopefully, I'll be an elementary school teacher. And I'll finally get the Yorkie that I've wanted since I was five. And for me, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be married with two kids and I'll live in a nice house. And I'll be a dental hygienist. And I'll have a dog. And a cat. Probably two cats. Okay. <laughs> in 10 years, I hope to be an officer for the United States Navy and become a pilot. 
In 10 years, I'll be living in California. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Be sure to check out the senior video for more segments. A reminder that the end of the year Friendship Club Hoedown is today after school. There will be food provided from the Texas Roadhouse in Honeydew. If you're interested in the 5K Walk for Fernando, please sign up online by emailing the race is Saturday morning. Now here's Katherine King with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. There will be a brief boys basketball meeting today after school in room 325. Please see Mr. Cormier if you cannot attend. Track won 74 to 62 and performing well were Nathaniel Galvis in the 400 hurdles and Aaron Cochran who won two events and placed second in another. The girls track team lost but performing well was Krista Bradley who threw 92-2 in javelin. The basketball team, <laughs> the baseball team <laughs> lost 7-0 to zero, but clinched tournament earlier this week. Well that's all I have today, now back to the desk. Thanks Catherine, well that's all we have for today. Have a great day Mustangs. <laughs> yeah, girl!